Hey everyone, welcome to my review of seomoz.org, a really, really cool suite of SEO tools designed at veteran webmasters as well as budding blogs or small websites that may be looking to build traffic by improving their rankings in the search engine world, including Google, Bing, and Yahoo. Uh, this particular suite works with all three. A uh, great set of tools. You can try it free for 30 days. If you don't like it, you can always cancel, but at least give it a try. Um, we'll show you why you should do that momentarily. But when you go to their homepage, it's actually very, very impressive. They have a lot of big name clients, including Walt Disney, Overstock, Best Buy. They also have eBay, although they don't actually mention it on the homepage, which I find a little curious, but they do have it. Um, they promise a lot. They promise that you can analyze your link metrics. They promise that you can identify critical SEO issues, for example, um, 404 pages, things like this. They also promise that you can monitor data and track your historical rankings. And they also show a lot of emphasis on community. Um, you know, they will post uh, SEO tips and tricks to their own blog, but they will also have posts from other users that have done SEO techniques and would like to share those with the community at large. So we signed up for an account, did the free trial, and we take a look at our dashboard, and it seems to link up to exactly what it uh, said it would. Uh, we have uh, our ability to make campaigns, we have our popular tools, Open Site Explorer, Keyword Analysis, On-Page Analysis. By the way, Open Site Explorer, fantastic tool, I'm going to get to that later. But we also have uh, webinars that we can do, we have Q&As that we can do, we have other resources, we have uh, the blog, we can browse all blog posts, get some insight from some real experts on how to improve search engine rankings for our sites. And so for this little demonstration, we're going to pretend that we're Microsoft and we're looking to improve our keyword results. But, but not only that, also understand why we are at the top of our rankings in, in certain keywords and understand how we can protect that. So we're going to view our uh, campaign here. And we have, uh, first of all, our crawl diagnostics. We then have our keyword rankings. Uh, total keyword would be five. Two of our selected keywords, which we'll get to later on, are in the top three, four on the first page. Great to know that right off the bat. And what we have, though, is a competitive link analysis between Microsoft, Apple, and Google. Well, Google wins on the domain authority, but we'll see why that's the case when we see the full competitive analysis. So we see that Google dominates in terms of total links. There are 429, well, nearly 430 million total links. By contrast, Microsoft only has 67 and a half million. That's still pretty impressive. I'm sure most webmasters out there would love to have either of those numbers. But Google is uh, clearly the higher power in terms of number of links. What's really cool though about this analysis and was worth mentioning is that you can actually get the ratio of follow to no follow links. Other tools will tell you how many links you have, but you don't get the ratio of how many are followed and how many have been designated as no follow links. As you may be well aware, no follow links don't really count towards your search engine results, or excuse me, search engine rankings. So it's nice to have a ratio to understand how many of those are followed, how many of those are no followed. As we can see here, the lowest percentage is actually Microsoft with only 81% that are actually followed. We can also tra track the rankings of the particular keywords that we have chosen. So we have chosen Mac, Office, Redmond, Software, and Windows. Now these are all somewhat related to Microsoft, but what's interesting if we go, for example, to Mac, we can see the keyword. We can also see our history. We don't have any history as of this moment, but we will see our ranking history. We can also see exactly where we, so there we are. 
and the Windows Media components for QuickTime. So we can see, sort of get a high level understanding of where we are and what kind of competition we're up against. So we can also check out what might be hindering our site. So for example, for Microsoft.com, there might be a title, that's because of the redirect, but there might be a title missing. There might be an overly dynamic URL, there isn't one on, on Microsoft.com, but there might be an overly um, dynamic URL, you know, um, and it explains exactly what that means. They can crawl dynamic URLs, but search engine representatives have warned against using over two parameters in every, any given URL. I didn't know that before I actually went to SEO mods. So when I'm designing a site, I will actually take a look at that and be careful of that in future. But you can get things that are really critical. For example, duplicate page content, duplicate page title. Things that as you may be designing your site, you may not realize that you have duplicate page titles somewhere. You know, you just don't really realize it. But SEO mods will pick up on that and help you uh, make your site very, very friendly to search engines. So I promised that we, we, we would get back to that uh, Open Site Explorer. So let's go to the Open Site Explorer. And this is a really, really cool tool, especially if you're a new site to monitor. But we're going to use Microsoft.com anyways. And we have a page authority of 97, domain authority 98, linking with domain 75,000, total links just under a million. But what we can get is the number of Facebook shares, the number of Facebook likes, the number of tweets, the number of Google Plus Ones, all on the same page. Now, if you're a budding site and you're looking to get some social media interaction, you're trying to get some likes or some tweets or some Plus Ones, this is the page where you can go to monitor that, to make sure that your social media outreach is having the effect that it should. But what's more interesting is that we can get a glimpse of who's linking to us. What are some of the top pages that are linking, that it's linking to? What pages are popular? You know? So, for example, this has 79 million Facebook shares. Windows Internet Explorer has uh, as a second with one and a half million inbound links. It's actually got more than the Microsoft homepage. But it's got five uh, 5,000 Facebook shares. And, you know, we can get a glimpse as to what, what's popular. You know, if you're a site and you have many, 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 if you have different articles, let's say, or different products that you offer, you can get a sense of what is popular. What, what do people link to? What should I promote? And you can get a sense of what are the linking domains. I mean, you can get, um, for example, Adobe links to them, WordPress. They all link to them. What is the anchor text? The other thing we can do, which is really, 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 really cool, is we can get a keyword analysis. So let's pick an arbitrary keyword. Let's say, um, well, search engine, run report. So we're going to run this report, and it's going to tell us how difficult a particular keyword is. 93%. Wow. 93%. And the reason for that looks pretty obvious. you got 100% page authority, 100% domain authority. You've got very, very high numbers for linking root domains. So basically, it is going to be very, very challenging. For example, if you're a new search engine, mom and pop search engine.com, it's going to be very, very challenging for you to get um, to the top of this keyword. But there are some cracks. For example, what is a search engine is number nine. It's only got a domain authority of 66, 89. If you could build enough inbound links, you may actually be able to at least crack the top 10. Having this tool lets you see potential weaknesses, lets you see potential areas in which you may be able to capitalize on and you may be able to improve your results relative to somebody else. Great suite of tools, great system. SEO Moz is, is amazing. Developers there are, are incredible. Uh, my hat's off to them. Um, you can test out the free trial you can see if you like it if you don't you can 
quit it, but so far uh, we've been pretty happy with it, and uh, we think you would be too. So thank you very much for listening to our review, and if you want more information, check out the links at the bottom. All right, till tomorrow. Bye.